Ok, siamo tutti, buongiorno, benvenuti. Secondo episodio, visto che oggi passiamo, parliamo di serie, possiamo dire che oggi è il secondo episodio degli incontri New Media Lab. Eh, L'altra volta abbiamo incontrato Guido Geminiani a proposito di realtà virtuale. Oggi, sempre nel doppio appuntamento, qui la mattina al centro, eh, centro sperimentale di cinematografia, ai cantieri culturali, che ovviamente ancora una volta ringraziamo caldamente, eh, e poi il pomeriggio in università all'edificio 15, aula 3, quinto piano. Oggi parleremo di web serie, eh, c'è cioè con noi, ed è per noi veramente un piacere che sia qui, eh, Joël Basseget, che è un grandissimo esperto di web serie, ha questo blog che era nato mh, su Liberation, giusto? Eh, eh, sul quotidiano, la parte online del quotidiano Liberazione, lui è un osservatore del fenomeno web serie da tutti i punti di vista, produzione, realizzazioni, festival, è stato in giuria a, in diversi festival di web serie e ha scritto un libro eh, che si chiama Le Guide eh, du Web Series, la Nouvelle Vague, eh, che è veramente un manuale fondamentale per chi eh, vuole conoscere e capire cosa sono le web serie, sia da un punto di vista estetico ma anche da un punto di vista produttivo e realizzativo. Io eh, farò come l'altra volta parlare ovviamente lui che è meglio di me, eh, un avvertimento parlerà inglese ma very slow, so, <ride> sarete tutti comfortable in questo, o, o, vedo già degli occhi di panico ma non vi preoccupate, alcuni di noi vi si metteranno vicini a voi e vi sussurreranno parole dolci, <ride> <ride> parole dolci se non capite qualche passaggio ehm, io detto questo lascerei la parola ancora una volta ad Alessandro Rais che ringrazio davvero perché è, è lui il motore di questo New Media Lab e ci ha creduto, l'ha voluto, l'ha sponsorizzato e quindi grazie e una parola di Introduzione. Sì, grazie a te Simone e eh, benvenuti naturalmente a tutti per questo appunto, secondo volè del eh, New Media Lab. Un saluto a Joel che ho avuto il piacere di conoscere già quest'estate a Ustica, al Sisi di Webfest, che, di cui si parlerà oggi pomeriggio se non vado errato eh, e che è un appuntamento molto eh, importante con appunto la, le, le web series eh, in Sicilia e... Ehm, un grazie ancora a Simone che ci accompagna diciamo, in questo eh, percorso in cui eh, l'ufficio speciale per il cinema e l'audiovisivo è qui con me oggi eh, Ignazio Playa eh, che eh, appunto insieme a me insieme ad altri collaboratori lavora a, eh, al nostro progetto come Sicilia Film Commission eh, ci siamo, eh, cerchiamo sempre di più di aprirci al sostegno e al cofinanziamento di progetti che abbiano a che fare con i nuovi linguaggi e con il web e, eh, uno di questi uh, momenti è stato condiviso con, con Simone, è stato il primo bando uh, pubblicato da uh, un ente pubblico in Italia uh, rivolto al cofinanziamento di Web Series e diciamo, attualmente abbiamo cinque progetti in lavorazione uh, che crediamo siano un importante contributo che la Sicilia può dare uh, al panorama uh, italiano e internazionale delle Web Series. Ehm, riflettere in un modo eh, a, a, diciamo accompagnati da un, da un osservatore così attento come Joel che è insieme eh, un critico e eh, mi piacerebbe dire anche un attivista politico delle eh, web series ha un, uno sguardo eh, che, è estremamente, che non è soltanto di um, racconto o resoconto ma eh, credo che eh, riesca a individuare la forza anche politica del eh, progetto delle web series web series e dell'utilizzazione appunto della narrazione eh, audiovisiva sul web, credo che sia un contributo importante per eh, il pubblico, tanto del centro sperimentale quanto dell'università. Eh, qui mi fermo e vi auguro una buona e eh, proficua giornata di lavori. Eh, credo che sia anche importante eh, che eh, cominciamo ad abituarci a masterclass eh, in lingua, sia essa in inglese, eh, e ringraziamo Joel di parlare in inglese o anche in francese, credo che eh, in generale sia il centro sperimentale che università dovremmo 
abituarci a considerarlo una norma, è un passo avanti che facilita anche chi si deve muovere nel, nell'ambiente delle produzioni audiovisive in generale, cominciare a pensare che l'italiano diventa la lingua di scorta e le lingue eh, diciamo, da usare quotidianamente, quotidianamente sono le altre. Un saluto da parte di, di Complex, anche a nome di Luca Ligio che oggi non è potuto venire. E siamo, dico siamo, io e Luca siamo veramente curiosi del, di questo intervento di, di Joel. È vero che le web series sono essenzialmente una nouvelle vague e alla nouvelle vague, la nouvelle vague fu costruita da chi ne parlò, teorizzò, operò attorno alla nouvelle vague, non solo dai cineasti. Quindi queste figure sono essenziali, la Nouvelle Vague, senza Basin, senza le carriere di cinema, non sarebbe mai esistita essenzialmente. Grazie a Joel, grazie a Alessandro, grazie a Simone. Allora, possiamo cominciare? Eh, merci. Non alzate la mano perché averlo vicino tutto il giorno. Uh, hi. <laughs> Buongiorno. Um, thank you very much for inviting me here. I'm very, very pleased to be here today. Uh, first of all, I am going to sit for this conference because you're sitting, I should be sitting. <laughs> um, so you already know that my name is Joël Bassager and I am a, I am a web series fan and I became an expert. Um, just a few words about me. I was a scriptwriter for television. I have always been uh, in love with independent production and alternative production. And many people ask me, how did you get into web series? The thing is that I never got into web series. I was into web series from the beginning. Uh, in 1995, i was one of the 30,000 French people who had internet at home. And uh, because I was a script writer and because I was interested in uh, independent production, the first thing I searched on the internet was not uh, lovely puppies or cats, but uh, uh, films, independent films. Of course, in 95, there were not a lot of them. There were none of them, in fact. But slowly, I started to see people using internet to show independent production. And I followed that, and at the beginning of uh, a year, 2000, 2000, uh, between 2000 and 2005, I could already see some independent production, of course, there were only a very, very few, but I was already sending emails to all of my friends saying, hey, you should watch that, you should watch that on the internet instead of porn, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and I thought, well, instead of just sending emails to your friend, maybe you should tell the world what you see on the internet, and I wanted to show the world what was happening on the internet, and this is how I started to communicate to people. I never thought I would become an expert of web series. I never thought I would give conferences like that about web series, but this is life, this is how it goes, uh, and the patient got on, and now this is all I do every time I speak about web series. And I know a little about web series, this is why I talk about web series. So I'm going to talk in English, I hope I'm speaking slowly enough, but of course if there is any moment you don't understand something and you think this is important and I should understand that, stop me and ask someone to translate it because uh, 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 the goal here is for everybody of you to uh, 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 take the, the, uh, this conference and get back some uh, uh, solid information about web series and this is super important And now I'm going to start to explain you why this is so important to speak about web series. In fact, I'm going to speak about web series, I'm going to speak about digital series, I'm going to speak about short form, I'm going to speak about short serialized content, I'm going to speak about mobile content. But you know what? It's all the same thing. <laughs> It's all exactly the same thing. It's called web series. But a lot of people right now are giving web series 
different names. I don't know really why, I mean, I know why, and I will explain you this later when we talk about the market, but don't worry, it's all the same thing, it's about web series. So first, what is a web series? Well, this is super simple. Um, I made a study in, two, uh, in 2014 called um, uh, Anatomy of Web Series, where I studied 3,000 titles of web series from all over the world to try to define what is really this object, web series. And from this study, there is really one thing that is appearing and that is defining web series. It's the format. 95% of all the web series that have been produced in the world till now have an episode lens, an average episode lens, less than 12 minutes. This is very important. First, because this is a new territory for serialized uh, narrative. Television never used a format under 13 minutes. 13 minutes was always the first format of television for narrative serial um, content. And now there is this new format exploring but with episodic uh, 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 format, new lens, less than 12 minutes. And you will see that it's not only about producing short things because it's easy to make and because it's cheaper to produce short uh, uh, content. You will see that the format is really the heart, the core, and the purpose of web series. Uh, web series are now like, let's say, 10 to 15 years old, and of course, uh, and it became a, a, a huge phenomenon around the world. I will show you some uh, 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 trailers of shows produced around the world, and I will discuss with you uh, um, the situation of web series in different countries of the world. But now, right now, web series are becoming uh, the center of a global market. Yes, a global market. Uh, just make, don't take my word for it, because I know that someone coming to you and saying, yeah, Web Series is a big global market, there is big money to make there. I mean, you could, you could say, yeah, really? You, you, are you sure of that? Well, I'm going to give you a number. Um, in 2016, I was invited to uh, the MIP TV in Cannes. It's the biggest market of uh, television program in the world in Cannes, and they wanted me to speak about web series. In 2015, there was on 1,500 uh, companies from all the world coming to Cannes. Only 30 of them were claiming that they would be uh, producing or buying short content web series. In 2016, only one year after, there were 300 companies claiming that they would not only, but also producing or selling or buying short content. And this year, it was more than 500 of this company, a third of the production company, TV production company in the world claim that they are interested in this format. So yes, there is a huge global market for this format. Why? Super simple. We all have this. This. 3.5 billion people on this planet have this. And these 3.5 billion people are just like us. They like stories. They like to watch a good story, to watch series, and they need content for this mobile. And this is why there is a big market right now. Of course, this market is not only for web series. It's also for a lot of applications, services, uh, uh, and, 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 and other entertainment also, like interactive entertainment. There is also game, of course, on your, uh, on your phone. 
but web series are part of this global market. And just if you imagine that, uh, because this is what they think when they think about this market, if that only if these 3.5 billion people on the planet would pay one euro, let's say even one euro every year to watch content, it's already 3.5 billion euro a year. If they are ready to pay 10 euro a month, just like they are paying for Netflix, then we are talking about 350 billion euro every year. I mean, this is a big market, not including publicity. That could still be a revenue for that. So the format is really very important for web series. Um, but the question of the format of web series is also very interesting because in web series, there is no standard. I mean, some web series are eight minute episodes, some web series have six minute episodes, some of them are 10 minutes, and you know what? Even in, in, in one web series, you can have an episode that is four minutes, and then the second episode is six minutes, and then the other one is seven minutes. Why? Because in web series, what is important is the story. How you tell the story. You tell directly to the people. Uh, they are watching this on their iPhone, on their uh, tablet, or on their laptop. But you talk directly to them, and there is no standardization ever, really. This is also very important because this is new. This is a new way of writing also. This is why when we talk about web series, we usually use the term new writing, nouvelles écritures in French. Because, of course, everything that worked for television for 70 years doesn't work under 13 minutes. Just like you are all watching a, a, a TV series and uh, you know the thing of the three acts. You know that, the three acts with the cliffhanger at the, at the end of the act and the, the same lens and the same, uh, some, some events that goes exactly there. And, and, and you know that uh, uh, people writing TV shows, they have this kind of pattern. They know that on page 30, this must happen. On page 35, this must happen. This doesn't exist in web series, in fact. We will talk about, I, I will talk later about what, what you should do if you make a web series, of course, but standardization doesn't exist. So this is very interesting also. What we see in web series that are produced also, another thing that is very interesting is that web series act as a kind of a counter-programmation for television. Um, when you, you study the genres that are among the web series, you can see that all the genres that, that made television famous and rich are not in web series. And on the contrary, all the genres that have been uh, forgotten or, or just left apart by television for commercial purpose or for political purpose, you can find them in web series. For example, uh, Television made a fortune with sitcoms, with procedurals, with uh, 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 and all kinds of procedurals like uh, uh, medicine show, cops show, uh, justice show. You cannot find them in web series. This is not what people want to talk about. On the other hand, horror, uh, horror genre, sci-fi, uh, anticipation, which were very rare on television until recently, are uh, uh, in web series. Of course, you could explain that, but the fact that web series are not only short, they are, or at least they were till today, independent production. Also very important. Till today, the majority of web series have not been commissioned by anyone. There is no uh, a, a, a television channel who said, oh, we should produce that and we are going to hire this guy and this guy and this guy to do it. No, this was just people 
maybe having a beer together at night and say, you know what, we should do it. And because there is the internet and because I have a camera and my friends know how to record the sound and I, I have a couple of uh, uh, friends also, they are actors, let's do it. And they did it. So, of course, you can imagine that creators first did what they wanted because nobody was there to tell them what to do or what to not do because it, most of the time television tells you what you shouldn't do and not what you should do. <laughs> and, um, and so, yes, uh, a uh, web series is also a counter-programmation, you can see. Web series are also uh, a media for to express yourself. Uh, because it's on the web, and on the web it's free, there is no censorship also on the web. So you could tell a story that everybody would refuse to broadcast, for example. And this is why in web series you see, for example, this is just an example, um, the, the LGBT community, lesbian, gay, bi, and trans uh, community took web series as a media to express themselves because they could not be represent represented in television Maybe, or if they were represented, they were represented by quota, you know, yeah, we should have 10% of gay guy in this show and, uh, and maybe 5% of black guy. Really? 5%? Isn't it too much? Um, this kind of things. But you know what? They do what they want. In the US, there is a movement that is called the Black Web Series. This is black directors, black actors, black producers producing web series where the entire class cast is black. They want to show people that you can have an entire black cast. You can have black people uh, uh, um, acting any character they want, not only uh, the bad dealer or the good cop or uh, 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 this kind of cliche that you have. The Asian community also in the US is using web series in a different way. They are using web series to counter the cliché of their uh, uh, community in the US, because there are a lot of cliché attached to their community, and they usually choose humor, comedy, to express that and to counter the cliché of uh, the society. So web series, short, independent, and free. Very important also. Of course, uh, it is important, be and the people investing right now in web series uh, know that because, of course, on your mobile, you will watch something different than television. You don't want to have television on your mobile, really. You want to watch something different because it's a different time. Um, people watching web series are not a lot right now. I mean, you, you, you cannot say that there is a majority of people, I don't know how many people really here are watching web series on a regular basis, but there are not a lot. But there will be a lot because we know that people like to hear, to watch a good story, and they are all equipped with uh, what we call the second screen. The second screen is your mobile, your, ta your tablet, even your laptop. Web series became the center of attention also because of another phenomenon. In fact, the web series phenomenon met all the phenomenon that helped uh, a web series to rise. And one of these main phenomenon is that people don't watch TV anymore. Or they don't watch TV just like they used to do. Usually, the business model of the television was perfect. The perfect business model. You want to see that? You like this guy? You like this story? Okay, you have to be there Thursday at uh, uh, 9 in front of your uh, television. And there is no other way you can see that. So you have to be there and you have to watch all the publicities, and we get the money, and we give you entertainment, and we get the money. It was a kind of a win-win situation. But now, uh, 
it is a fact that television already lost two generations of viewers. People who are not anymore sitting on the sofa at nine to watch the show. They watch the show when they want, how they want, where they want, really. And this is what makes the success of the Netflix business. This is what they say. They say, watch television when you want, where you want, how you want. On your laptop, on your mobile, on your, on your tablet, everywhere you want. So the business model of television is really challenged right now by uh, the internet. And for television, there is there with web series an opportunity to reconnect with generations who lost television, in fact, and also to maintain their business model on a different uh, level and with a slightly different uh, also business model. Um, the other thing is that television, it was a very stati static thing. Television, when you uh, were leaving home in the morning, you would leave television in the living room and then going back to television at night. The thing is that right now, because you have mobiles, because you have tablet, you do not really leave television. You take television with you. You take a tiny screen with you. And you're still consuming a lot of things. News, uh, uh, you watch the weather channel to, to, to know if it's going to rain or not. Uh, you, you, you use also, of course, video games and things. So this is still entertainment. This is still the business of television that is there. So this is why television is so uh, interested in this, uh, in this new business. So, of course, I guess the question... I don't guess this is a question, I know this is a question because this is a question that comes always at some point is, so can I make money with web series? <laughs> and uh, my answer is yes, you can, but not right now, uh, not, not, not today, but you will be able to make money with web series and already some people are starting to make money with uh, web series because there are operators getting into this business because they know that there is a potential big market on that. Um, in France, uh, France is the country that is at the top of the experimentation in terms of uh, 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 web series. Uh, first of all, the, 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 the phenomenon of web series started very soon in France. Uh, uh, at the end of the 90s already, there were web series produced in France. And also right now, France is called the laboratory of web series in the world because uh, we have a lot of investment in that. In France, all the TV channels have a dedicated website where they show web series. Uh, now we have uh, uh, the two first worldwide application solely dedicated to web series are French. You maybe know them, it's Studio Plus. Studio Plus is made by Canal Plus. And there is this new, wall, new one called Black Pills. Um, Black Pills is also a French campaign. What is it? It is super simple. It is an application that you download and that allows you to watch web series with different business model, two different business model. The Studio Plus business model is subscri subscription model. It's just like Netflix. You pay every month, and on your application, you have access to short content. Black Pills has a slightly different uh, business model. On Black Pills, it's still an application that you have to download, but you can watch episodes for free. And if you, uh, the thing is that when you watch them for free, you cannot binge them, you cannot watch the entire series. You have only two episodes every week for uh, uh, each series. There is publicity also, but if you buy, if you subscribe every month and you pay, then you can watch all the episodes you want and there is no more ad. I mean, it's two uh, slightly uh, different uh, business model. I cannot tell you right now if it's working or not, 
because uh, Studio Plus started like one year ago, maybe only 10 months ago, and uh, Black Pills just launched last month. So this year we are going to wait for the first numbers. It will be very interesting to see if it works or if it doesn't work, because of course all the business model can still work. Maybe you can have a totally free, maybe uh, only the subscription model is, is going uh, to, to work. Um, also, uh, things that are very uh, important uh, with uh, web series is um, maybe this is something that I think, but but I, I know that when I say that it has a lot of success, and, and even I heard it during the presentation. This is what I call the nouvelle vague. I really think that web series are the nouvelle vague for uh, television and audiovisual. Because just like the nouvelle vague, web series are challenging a model, a model of production uh, that has been for years, uh, established for years, and web series are challenging that because creators of web series, they say, first of all, same thing, no standard. We don't care about 52 minutes, 26 minutes. We, 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 we tell the story just like we want to tell it. And we tell the story that we want to tell because nobody's there to tell us what to tell. But um, uh, this freedom of uh, 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 web series is super important because it is also, it's going to challenge the economy of uh, television first and maybe later cinema. Because just like the Nouvelle Vague, these people say, these people are, yeah, it's political. It's against a system also. You know, um, I will explain you the thing very simple. I met two creators, German creators, and very famous already in television because they are already writing and directing two shows on the German television. So these guys are young, they are like 25, 26, they have a lot of success already. And, um, and they told me, you know, Joel, we were thinking about this project of comedy and we were sure that we could do it on television because we are famous, we know, we know everybody there. And at, at some point we, we know that we could produce that. But when we thought about that, we thought, it's going to take years. On television, first you have to write a first synopsis, and then we, you have to go to this guy and say, hey, I have this idea. And the guy says, ah, it's a good idea. I have to talk to my chef. And then they talk, and then they, 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 they bring you back one month after, and they say, yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, um, yeah, write the first script, and then you write the first script, and then you go back, and they read the first script, and they say, yeah, maybe. And then even if they say, yes, they have you write another script, say, it's going to take years. And you know what, Joel? We, we decided no. We are going to do it this weekend. Not in two years, not in even in one week. We are going to do this this weekend. And because they knew a few friends who had cameras and sync directors, they were able to do it this uh, on the weekend. And the, the web series is called Fet and Fet. It's German, and it's super funny, and it's already on. So this is what web series also are challenging. They are challenging a system of power also that had the television. Television had the power to tell you people want to see that or not right now or uh, we don't have the budget for that, etc., uh, uh, etc. Et All these kind of things that they had to, just to have you out of the office uh, because you are talented and they hate that. Uh, so, yes, it is a nouvelle vague. And of course, uh, a lot of people directing web series right now, they will someday, very soon, be directing TV series, long format. Lots of these people, because they show that they are talented, they show that they are able to tell stories, they will maybe make films, uh, uh, feature films, and they want that. I mean, all creators, they say, yeah, I mean, I, 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 would, I would love to, do, to direct a TV series, I would love to direct a, a film, but the thing is that when they are going to get into this economy, they will get into this economy with the economy of web series. 
they know how to do it without any money. So if you give them a little money, well, they know how to do it good, very, very good. And the thing is that it is also joining one of the problematic of the industry right now, uh, that where is the money? Uh, there is a big productions with uh, big actors and you have to spend millions and millions on that. But where is the room for the other thing, ambitious thing, audacious thing that could be made without money? Well, these young creators, because of course they are all young, it's your generation. Web series is not my generation, it's your generation. Of course, you are the people who are going to challenge the rules of the production in cinema and in television because you know how to do it. And you know, first, the first thing you know is that it cannot be written in a book how to do some things. You can be super inventive and super uh, 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 clever about doing things without money. And the thing is that also the entire hierarchy of the production, you know, with uh, this guy is doing this, this guy is doing that, 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 and that, is also challenged by web series. Because your generation is a generation, I mean, most of the, all the directors I, I, I meet, they are able to edit, same thing, on their computer. They know about special effects, same thing, on their computer. They know about sound, and they know about uh, 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 even finding music at the other uh, uh, part of the world. Uh, they know how to do it, which was not the case of my generation. In my generation, you were the guy for the camera. You didn't know nothing about lightning, for example, uh, or uh, you knew a little, and you had to talk with the guy who did the lightning. There is this new generation who knows to be multi uh, uh, tasked also, very important, collaborative. Collaborative is a very important word for web series. Even if you have a budget, even if people give you money, you will need collaborative production. Collaborative production means you have to get together. Yes, of course, you will have to find someone to uh, uh, do the job for less money, and you will give also, you will share the power of deciding. There is in web series, of course there are directors, creators, directors, super talented, but they are not God, just like on cinema. <laughs> the cinema, the director is the God. I mean, he says something and we do it. In web series, you share the decision. You share what you want to, uh, what you want to tell the people. So, right now, where are we with web series? It started uh, when YouTube and Vimeo and uh, Dailymotion started in 2005. There were like 20 web series produced every year in the world, in the entire world. Today, we have more than a thousand titles produced over the world every year which shows that it is a global movement, really. I mean, all the young authors in the world are uh, or want to produce a, a web series. Um, of course, the situation is not the same in uh, every uh, country of the world. And I'd like to do with you uh, a, a kind of a tour of a different word because you are Italian and I think it's important that as Italian you can refer to what is made and how is the web series movement uh, in different parts of the world. And the cool thing is that I also have some trailers so you don't have to listen to me all the time. You can also watch some pictures. Um, and I don't have any Italian trailers there, so maybe I'm going to start with Italy, you know, and uh, 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 to tell you uh, what I see what is happening in Italy. It's not that I know. I mean, I, I, I guess that this guy from Emerging Series know more uh, than me about what is happening in, in, in Italy, but, uh, but what I see from Italy. 
In Italy, the production is very high. The production volumes are very high. You are producing a lot of web series every year. Uh, the main uh, uh, word for uh, Italian web series is independent. And I want to say 100% independent. It is a fact that in Italy there is no funding for web series, or no serious funding, or no uh, 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 coordinated funding for web series. It's a pity. It's even a scandal, because Italy is one of the countries in Europe where, they have, uh, where you have the most talented people, really. Italian web series, um, you can see it. I mean, all Italian web series are or oh, let's say 99% of them are beautiful. They are beautifully made and they are really beautiful, which is something important. Even if you don't put the sound, I think I could recognize an Italian web series just by the picture. Because you refer also to, a, uh, to an history of cinema, to a culture of cinema that you have. And that may, maybe you lost or maybe, uh, but that is that you can, web series, Italian web series are reflecting that. But unfortunately, no funding for web series or no public coordinated funding for web series in Italy. And this is really a pity, really, this is a serious problem. And when you get out of this room, you all go to your deputy, to your minister, to you write a letter to the president, I don't know, but you ask people, you tell them we should do that because there is a strategic, also very important strategic aspect in web series. Web series, this is the end of the hegemony of Hollywood. You do not need anymore to be in, Le in Los Angeles, to be in Hollywood, to produce something that can be seen worldwide. You can be here in Palermo and produce something that can be seen worldwide. The thing is that some people have to give you at least a little money to start it, to do it. <laughs> and if you don't have money, for sure, it's going to be more difficult. Uh, some countries already understood the strategic importance of web series. For example, New Zealand. Who knows a New Zealand film or New Zealand TV show? I mean, maybe you can quote me one or two. And of course, it's a small island. It's isolated at the other part of the world. Now they are investing in web series and web series, their web series are very famous and they make, they make, they make it worldwide. For, only for a few money, they can have these programs, uh, this New Zealand talent shining all over the world. I am uh, organizing the Web Series World Cup. I think we are going to talk about that this afternoon. Uh, and last year, the winner of the Web Series World Cup, I mean, this is the Web Series, the most awarded Web Series in the world, was made by the Italian Swiss television. Italian Swiss television. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there, are, uh, that there are still a lot of people in the world who, that, who don't even know that there is an Italian Swiss. But this is it. For a few bucks, this channel, who, has never produced anything <laughs> that went over the Alps or over <laughs> there, went worldwide. This, there is a strategic importance in that. So, about Italy, super talented, really. Uh, there is also a genre in Italy that is, uh, that it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know if you, will, if you will agree with me, but there is always this kind of a, a psychology thing in the script. You like that. <laughs> I, I can see that. You like when, when it goes to psychology, to the, deep, to the depth of the minds of your characters. This is very interesting, very interesting. But you need funding, for sure. Let's go and have a, um, a look around the, the world. So is there, I have to do this. Yeah, this, no. This. And I want to show you, yeah, we are going to start with Canada. Okay, Canada, why do I want...
when, oh, I have to tell the guy. So I'm going to show you uh, 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 the trader of a Canadian uh, web series. Canada. Canada is, wow, this is the best country in the world if you, are, if you want to create a web series. The best country in the world. First of all, they have money for web series. They give money for web series. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and... and, and and it's not only that they give you money to, 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 to make web series, because, I mean, everybody can do that, give you money, and just make a web series. It's that they will produce with you. It's not only that they will give you money and say, okay, come back with your web series. They will, they will accompany you around all the process, all along the process of producing your web series. It's very good, and they have uh, channels there investing in web series. It's it's really, I mean, Canada is like at the top for investing in web series. The only thing is, you may not see a lot of Canadian web series on the web or uh, uh, even in the festival, which is a pity, because they do not invest yet, but they will soon into the promotion of web series, into the distribution of web series. This is something we have to talk about also, but we will talk about that this afternoon. It's very important, it's about this afternoon, it's about strategy, how you put your web series on the worldwide scene when you have produced it or when you want to produce a web series. Very important. This web series is called Coded. Oh, big, uh, in Canada also, one other thing is that Creators in Canada like to use web series to address actual topics. Always uh, like uh, uh, something happening. And this web series that you will see, it's about a young professor who has to teach a class of uh, misfits, uh, uh, delinquents, uh, uh, people. used to be called special ed. Now it's knowledge and experience. Before you know it, they'll be calling it perfect little snowflakes. We have five grade 10 students, all with severe emotional and behavioral issues, all coded. Five kids. My name is Shay Fitzgerald. I just graduated university and this is my first teaching job. It shows. Criminals of tomorrow. Slackjaw Anonymous. Wastes of skin that'll end up mopping up puke in an old folks home for 10 bucks an hour. That's not my kids. No, of course not. Hey! Stop now! You want a hand instead of the tongue? There's no shame in asking for help. You got a tough crowd in there. I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, Christ. What did you do? Nothing. I can't believe that I care more about your education than you do. That's like a big surprise. You're lucky I don't have time for your crap. I'm taking my son out of this school. Your little stunt exposed me to serious trouble with the division. Do you understand that? I knew you wouldn't understand. You just got me fired. You'll notice you're still here. Sometimes you can't win for trying. We all want to be that teacher. Are you okay? Yeah. Super simple. I mean, opa. Uh, the subject, very, uh, very actual. It's about teaching kids who are uh, uh, usually expelled from the from the from, from the system, 
and the thing is that the system has money for the, for these kids because yeah they should stay uh, uh, in school but uh, what is really lacking is someone who is really willing to take these kids and to take care of these kids and this young guy uh, uh, accepts this mission and gets confronted with a lot of problem a lot of problem I mean it's about because he comes there with a lot of illusion, with a lot of uh, 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 speech about teaching the kids, and then nothing really happens. You can see it on the trailer already, also very simple in uh, uh, the making. Everything happens at school. Everything happens in the classroom, of course, not in the entire show. There are some uh, scenes outside uh, uh, the, the, the thing, but it's all there. It's super simple. This show has already been sold, I think it's to uh, Canal Play to be broadcast on the uh, digital corner of Canal Play, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, USA, USA, because we are in Canada, let's go to the USA. Uh, you know what, USA is a big deception, big, big deception for everybody watching web series, we don't, we don't see the quality there. Of course, they, they still are the biggest produc producer of web series in the world, USA. Every year you can have 300 titles produced there. But the thing is that a vast majority of these projects are very, very amateur. Very amateur, really. Like production values are not there and it's made without any money. And also a lot of this project they don't look like web series, but they look more like pilots for TV series. The thing is that they use the web series just to show what it could be on television. You can understand it. They live in a country where the business is big. The business of, of television, of cinema is big. So this is what they are looking for. They don't see the creator that there is a life for their creation on the web. For them, the life of their creation is in Hollywood or in New York to be produced and to be uh, 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 on TV. And uh, so the quality is really not there and you don't see also different subject. It's more like you have a lot of sitcoms, for example, in the, in the US, a lot of one-cam sitcoms. Uh, with some particularity, some funny particularity that you can see, for example, in New York, roommates. New York, it's all, it's all about roommates, all stories about roommates, which you can understand. You are young, you are in New York, you are forced to share some flat with some people. And so, of course, you talk about that. L.A., L.A., guess what? Actors. Always the same series. I can, I can give you the synopsis right now. It's... Uh, look how fun and hard it is to become an actor in Los Angeles. I'm a young actor and look at me, I'm going to casting, from casting to casting, and oh, I meet these crazy guys. The thing is that I have already seen dozens of these web series and they are not interesting at all. And the rest of the production is very, very uh, amateur, very... Um, and without any uh, a purpose of, be of becoming something else than a project, a pilot that I can show to someone and someone will produce it. So for them, it seems that web series is like uh, phase one of a bigger project. So first they make the web series and then they show it to someone who's going to make a TV uh, series or a TV film or a, f a film out of it. But I can show you one um, uh, a show it's a spoof show, and it's, um, yeah, it has been produced in Texas. My name is Pantsless, Detective Richard Pantsless. I'm a sleuth, a spy, a Seamus. The fog in Naked City shrouds a hundred mysteries, a thousand secrets, and a million mosquitoes. Damn it! Blood-sucking. Ow! This was going to be an open and shut case. Smooth as silk, tight as ham. I was helpless as a T-Rex hailing a cab. He was a man's man, indeed. Tell me about the blackmail. Ah, a woman! We're 100% conjoined twins. Sometimes it's hard to tell where one of us ends and the other begins. Wait, what? 
another hand job, Dick. What? Asshole. What was that? Glass bowl. Mine broke. I was eating a frozen dinner when she walked in the room. The hours turned into days, days into weeks, weeks into realizing I don't know how to use the calendar. On a hunch, I decided to go to Smitty's favorite place. You can't railroad me like some koala court. I haven't officially existed for over 30, <laughs> 29 years. I'm innocent, Dollface. This for that, tit for tat. I still don't get the stripper angle. Like a goat in a pillow shop, she was in no apparent danger. A little help here, please? Yeah, yeah, save it, Dollface. Yeah, yeah, Dollface. What's that, sugar booger? Leave me alone, you doe-eared harpy. <laughs> You win for now, my sweet, sweet pamphlet. You win for now. Naked City Police, freeze! Who ye supposed to be? The Petsless Detectives. Um, this show has been made by uh, two guys, uh, Jipu and Tom. Uh, they live in Texas and they used to do some uh, uh, short films for the birthday of their friends. So they had a friend they're making birthday and they would make a film uh, uh, about his life or something like that, a funny thing. And then one day, because they had a friend, his parents were, were working for the CIA or I don't know what, and uh, they wanted to make a spy movie. And then they did, finally, they did a, 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 a detective uh, movie. And the thing is that, they had this idea and say, you know, we had so much fun that sh we should go on. We should not only make one uh, 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 short film, but we should do uh, a, a web series. Um, this is also another thing that a lot of creators told me about web series. Mostly people who worked on television or in cinema before, they told me, you know, it is so fun. You, you, you make a, a, a film, a short film, and you work on that, but they, at, in the end, this is, this is finished. We, we stop that, and the thing is that with web series we can go on. We can go on with that. We have we have the good character, we have the, this, and we can go on. And and it's us to decide that uh, we can go on. So uh, this is also another aspect of of, of uh, the web series. So yes, US are not the first. They are the first in volume for sure. They are still the one uh, uh, producing web series but they are not the first in quality and even in the interest of uh, the, the producers. You know, of course, the North American market is actually the first market that people want to reach. All the, 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 these dedicated apps that I told you, Studio Plus, uh, Black Pills, but all the other ones, they first want to go to North America because North America, they know that people are connected. People have Wi-Fi, people have, uh, are connected all day, and people have this second screen, this famous second screen, and are using it uh, um, a lot. But the thing is that when you look at the catalog of the programs that these people are selling to the United States, in fact, there are only a few uh, productions that have been made in the United States. These people, to feed the United States with web series are going to South America, are going to Europe, are going to other parts of the world to produce their content for the web for the US. So US, not the first. Not great again. Um, interesting, uh, uh, if we make, uh, if you go, if we go run, uh, around the world, uh, in Europe, um, one thing very um, very interesting and related to the Ita uh, to the Italian. When I told you that it is very important that Italy realize the potential that they have, that you have in web series, it is really, really super important. Because you know what? Something happened in Spain. In Spain also, there has been a big movement of web series like four years ago. Really, there were a lot of web series produced everywhere, uh, mostly because uh, with a reaction to the, to, to the crisis. There was a big crisis there. We, we, we know that financial crisis. And people would say, OK, I'm going to produce that by myself because there is no chance that nobody is going to put some money in my uh, project right now. And it was very interesting to see the, 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 the movement in Spain, 
The thing is that it was not followed by funding. It was not followed by, the, by, 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 by public uh, uh, awareness of what was happening. And right now, sp the Spanish production of web series is going down just because these people say, okay, we cannot go, uh, uh, we cannot go anymore because nobody gets interest also in that. There is also, it shows some respect when some people, uh, 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 when, when there is public funding, it shows respect for the talent that you have. It shows respect for uh, what you're doing. And if, if, if nobody shows you this kind of respect, of course, you don't want to do it anymore. This is why, uh, 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 this is why, yeah, I, I think that Italy must invest in web series, will invest in web series, I'm pretty sure, and uh, this will work, finger crossed. Uh, England also is a country in Europe, in terms of volume of web series produced in England, it's very low. It's very low and it's a bit surprising because, uh, I mean, English are the best, I mean, in terms of TV in Europe, I mean, come on, they are the best. I mean, they, 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 they're making, uh, of course, comedy, the British comedy on television is famous since years, de decades now. And now, with the new phenomenon of uh, uh, Serifili, Serimania, I mean, they are there, they are producing TV series, but the thing is that they are not producing web series. No, I mean, not a lot of web series. This is another thing. The other thing is that web series is not only counter-programmation to television, it's also reaction from the creators to your local industry. I explain myself. Uh, it is a fact, I can see that, that where you have a lot of opportunities in the traditional business of uh, television or cinema in your country, you are less motivated to do it by yourself uh, and create your own uh, uh, show. And in England, uh, uh, in the United Kingdom, of course, the creators know that they have a big industry of cinema and television going on, and so this is not where they want to invest in web. They don't want to invest in alternative when there is when the pattern is still working, the business model is still working there. But of course, for example, in France, 100% of the creators will tell you, oh, no, no, I don't want to go to see the, the TV channel. I don't want to know. I know them. They say no. They say maybe. They say later. They never say yes. So this is why I'm doing it. And this is, this is very important because, as you will see, it also works in countries like South America. South America, where uh, 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 the opportunities the amount of opportunities for young creators are close to zero in some countries, but really close to zero. If you don't have a name, if you don't have the money, well, you, you have no chance to be, uh, to be one day producing your own uh, thing. And so people are doing it. But also for cultural reasons. In South America, I mean, the TV channels and the, t and the, and, and the production studios are really oriented it can be politically oriented it can be culturally oriented uh, an example venezuela venezuela a lot of the creators and uh, of web series in venezuela and venezuela is producing web series are talking about being caribbean because they say that venezuela lost its caribbean culture and that uh, they cannot show this because I don't know why, but for historical reasons, for political reasons, for cultural reasons, the media wanted to put this away, the fact that they are Caribbean, that they have this uh, culture, and just left it. And these creators, they take it back and they say, no, we are Caribbean and we want to have this in our web series and we show another face. We reconnect with a culture of uh, the series. In Brazil, for example, uh, I'm, I'm not exaggerating if I say that a third of web series are LGBT, lesbian, gay, bi, or trans web series. Because this is a country where the issue is very big. I mean, this is a country where, uh, uh, I mean, I know Brazil, this is a country that is not so permissive with that. I mean, we have this uh, idea of uh, Brazilian travesty and this, but when you live in Brazil, it's not so evident to be gay, 
to be uh, to be uh, a lesbian or, or, or to be uh, transvestite or, or transgender, and so a lot of web series are using uh, um, this to express uh, themselves. Um, let's go to where should I go? Uh, moment. Oh yeah. So now I'm going to show you one from South America. This one comes from Uruguay. Uruguay. Uruguay is like a super small country uh, stuck between huge Brazil and powerful Argentina. Uh, in, the, in Uruguay, there are more cows than people living in Uruguay. Okay, it's uh, I think it's a, it's a, it's a two million and a half uh, country. And uh, now, the same thing. Uh, Uruguay cannot afford to, to, to have a big cinema production. Surely cannot afford to have big TV production because they are stuck and they receive a lot of programs from other countries. But with web series, it's possible to produce their own Uruguayan thing. And uh, there is this one, Finoli Film. Hoy viene una chica nueva, se llama Karen, y quiero que vos le expliques todo lo que sabes. Así de lindo y todo como lo ves, este parque es una reverenda mierda. Me dijeron que tenía que hablar con Alina o alguno de ustedes. Estamos cerrados, ¿sabes? Pero... Estamos cerrados, ¿entendés? Ixner, como dices en Rumania. No me digas que trabajar en un parque de diversiones es el sueño de tu vida. ¿Cuál es el tuyo? Ser detective, obvio. Este parque es único en Latinoamérica y hoy podés asistir a una de las experiencias más emocionantes de tu vida. Uy, voy a tener que limpiar de vuelta la merecita que bajó. Yo te amo con la fuerza de los mares. Yo te amo con el ímpetu del viento. Yo... Simplemente pasó un accidente, ¿es eso? La verdad, todo el tiempo muere gente en los parques de diversiones. Alina. Te amo como el Lo único que quiero es que recibas unos paquetes. A cambio, a esa persona le entregas otros paquetes. Es vital. ¿Vos sabés lo que hay adentro de los paquetes? ¿Dónde están las pelotas del señor Bain? Date la puta que te parió, ¿sabes? Pero date bien a la puta que te parió. ¿De qué te reís? Bueno. Tu vieja. Como yo te amo. No sé, eso no se puede hacer, eso tampoco. No, no, adentro del juego. Tienen que estar adentro del juego. No, ¿qué están haciendo? No se puede hacer eso. No. Um, I think for South America is that when you talk about doing things with nothing, they know about it. I mean, Argentina, the Argentina is the rising country right now in the, in the web series world. The thing is that <laughs> they know for years, because this, this is now like maybe 20 years that uh, Argentina is super down financially and that people don't have any money to, to produce film. And uh, it started with the film, um, in fact, in Argentina. Uh, when there was this big crisis, the directors figured out that they could make film without the, s the circuit, without the official circuit. That, uh, uh, I mean, even before web series existed, these guys in Argentina thought, you know, what we need for a film we need a camera, we need film, we need actors, we need uh, technicians, and all things, this is, we have. And the thing is that they were meeting people who were starving. So do you want to starve on my set, or do you want to starve at home? People say, yeah, I'm gonna starve on your set. It's okay. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we can find something to eat in the end, you never know. And so these people, they know how to do it with like nothing, really nothing. But right now, with web series, the government, and uh, also the different regions in, uh, in Argentina found out this is a very good strategy. 
we are going to invest in web series. And they are investing in web series right now, in a lot of web series. And not only they are investing in producing web series, they are investing in distributing web series, showing web series. They created a uh, dedicated channel. Uh, the most famous is UN Press, but there is also Odeon, at, at least two, three channels only for Argentina to show people web series. And, to, uh, uh, and of course they are financing web series. And right now, it works. It works because the, the uh, Argentinian web series are reaching the market, are reaching the international market and gives an opportunity uh, for uh, the, the, the Argentinian creators. It's a, uh, it's a very good idea. It's a very good idea to invest. Same thing, if you invest in a, in a cinema school, for some countries, it's a lot of money to invest for a, a cinema school, professors, university, <laughs> you know it here, that it costs a lot of money. And, but in the end, you cannot offer to every student a feature film. Eh, you cannot. I mean, and most of the students will leave the university without having directed anything, maybe. Just a documentary or just a few scenes like that, just to train. With web series, you can literally offer every student of the university an opportunity to uh, uh, direct something and not something that they will keep for them uh, at home and show to their family and friends, but something that will be broadcast, that can be sold and that people can even make money out of it and start a career. It's amazing, it's, 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 a, super great, uh, it's a super great idea. I'm going to show you another uh, uh, South American thing. It's going to be, this time it's going to be Argentina. So, it is, yeah. It's called A Year Without Us. semanitas están juntos ahí de vuelta los dos wow um, Trust TV is the channel from the University of Cinema so this is the university who created the channel and who is creating the channel uh, and, and make it function uh, with lots of, uh, of projects from the university, but also from outside the university uh, there. I'm going to show you another one. Ricardo Opa, no. Clara. Nope, nope. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. This one, Germany. We are going to talk about Germany right now. So a few words about Germany first. Um, Germany, web series, we saw that there were no web series in Germany like two, three years ago. Three years ago, when you would ask me Germany, I would say that, forget about Germany, nothing there, nothing is happening there. And it was, it was true, nothing was happening in the web series scene. Suddenly, 
three years ago, we saw a lot of German web series. Why? Uh, same thing. Germany, they have very good cinema school. A lot of cinema school everywhere in, in Germany. The thing is that the German television is Jurassic, really. It's like the most prehistoric television in the world. And um, also, it's a lot of public television, public funding. It's, it's like a dinosaur, really. And it's hard to move, just like a dinosaur. Try to move a dinosaur, you will see it's the same with television. So these young people coming out of the uh, cinema school, audiovisual school, super well trained, they know how to make a film. There's no opportunity. So they started to do their own. Same thing. The thing is, it's working because the quality is there, the quality is really there, and uh, they get into the market. Right now, Germany is in the process of thinking, we should do something there. Th there's something to be done there. We should put some money, we should develop things. The thing is that it's Germany. So Germany, things are slow. You have to discuss the thing first. And it's maybe gonna take time because they like to talk a lot in Germany, but when it's gonna happen, well, Germany will be the big country on the web and in the web series scene. Here I'm gonna show you Discocalypse. Discocalypse is a show that has been produced by a young student in his uh, university. So the funny thing is that uh, in his university of cinema, all the students were producing short film, short film or documentaries, because short film was the best to do short film. And he said, no, I'm gonna make a web series. And apparently all the professors and all the students of, of the university said, oh no, come on, he's making a web series. It's, it's, it really, this guy is not, he is not from us. It's just really bad idea. Web series sold to Studio Plus. The guy is making money with that right now. Just out of school, making money with his web series. All his friends with their short film, I don't know where they are right now. Wir spielen auch heute Abend in diesem neuen Club. Wir müssen deinen Arm absägen. I'm showing you another one that I forgot to show you. Uh, one moment, please. Because when I talk about uh, United Kingdom, I simply forgot to show you the trader. This trader is super uh, interesting. It's called Ren the Girl with the, ma uh, with the Mark because it shows you that you can go in every genre, in really in every genre. You can do what you want. I'm uh, after that, I'm, I'm stopping showing you things and I'm going to talk to you about producing web series, conceiving web series, uh, especially for this market. But take a look at this. Tell me you don't like it. You can't have to protect us. Why don't you like them? You don't know them as I do. I know they saved us from the marked ones. There's only one reason why they'd be in limbo. But no one here has ever seen a marked one. Yeah. Who are you? Get out of here! A Mari spirit. It's found a new vessel. Hooked. 
gone, Ren. You won't go away, will you, Ren? I can't leave. My family needs me. All the people you know will think you're evil. <coughs> Dangerous. They will hunt you down. Anyone caught harboring a mark will be punished. Anyone caught helping a mark will be punished. Anyone caught in support of a mark will be punished. <coughs> Yes, without money, just being smart, you can do that. You can do these kind of things. Epic, medieval fantasy, no problem. I mean, the sky is no limit when you are making a web series, really. But you just have to be clever. I will take some questions after that, uh, but, but I want to, talk, to give you a few words about producing a web series. I think it's time now, uh, because this afternoon we are going to talk more about strategies. So let's say that you all want to make a web series here, and I know you all want to make a web series, uh, and you're right if you want to make a web series. So what should I do? So first of all, you've really understood that you don't play by the rules and you don't play by the book. Uh, to make the, you don't make like what you do on television, you make your Bible that you show to some people to finance you. No, this is not how it is uh, uh, going to work. Um, three things, but first of all, for web series, and I'm gonna talk about web series, of course, on the perspective of getting into this market of the web series, getting into the business of web series. Because of course, uh, if, you, if you want to make your web series for your own, if it is, if it is things just for your friends or what, do it, you can do it, no problem. And on a certain level, I don't care about that. But if you want to uh, do web series intending to get into this market, the first thing you have to think is uh, the audience, the audience of web series. With these apps, which seems to be the way that web series are going to exist on, on your mobile phone, on your tablet, think about the audience because the audience is viewing your web series differently. Your audience is not on a sofa with popcorns and friends and giving you full attention to your program that they decided to watch. Your audience is in the bus, in the tramway, maybe waiting for an appointment at the doctor, maybe uh, having a rest uh, between uh, two uh, work shifts. And maybe they did not even decide to watch your web series. They were on the app and they say, yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna watch that. I, and they clicked on it. And the thing is that we're on the web. And the web, wow. It's hard, it's hard. You know what? Because when you are on your mobile watching, I am on my mobile watching your web series and I want to give it full attention because I love, I love it, I want to give full attention. But you know what? My mobile is making ding ding, I have a message on Facebook and ding ding, I have uh, an email now. And toot toot, I have uh, Snapchat, etc. I mean, the web is constantly telling me get out of this web series and check out the message from your sister and the SMS from uh, your wife about what you should uh, uh, buy at the supermarket tonight and things like that. So grab the attention of the people is very important. You need to have this relation to the, the reviewer. Nobody told them to watch your web series. Your web series has no probably no superstar in it, probably no magazine has uh, told, tell people that they should see that. So at some point you have to grab their attention. But be careful. Two or three years ago, when people, when we were saying that, there were people saying, yeah, yeah, web series, it's very simple. Every 30 seconds, something has to happen on the screen, then people stay awake. Doesn't work? No, uh, it's not like that, in fact. You can have web series that are very slow in the pace, uh, with n not something happening every 30 seconds that makes, ooh, wow, I want to know what is, uh, what's gonna happen. But the thing is that the story is told really the way that people have their attention on you. It's just like telling a story to a kid. Sometimes you have to start very fast 
Sometimes you take your time and you go very slow and you describe the forest and the village and the people there and then you get into the story. But you have to be aware of that. And because you don't have the tools that you have maybe in films and TV to do that, to do the, the, the big event and the things, then you have to have the writing. The writing is your main thing with web series. Then to get into the market, you will need three things that are called production values. Production values are super important. So good picture. Good picture is super important. Your picture has to be clean. Whatever you do, it has to be clean. Uh, the sound. Sound is super important for web series. You know, this, what this is what makes the difference between something amateur and something pro. It's the sound. It is the sound. I mean, I'm sure that if I, if, if even without any picture, if I, if I make you hear the sound of a film and the sound of a TV series, you will recognize and say, no, no, this is a film, this is a TV series, because I know the sound, I know this the presence of the sound. And also, other things super important for web series with the sound, the treatment of the sound has to be perfect, because some people would watch it, for example, at the office with the sound super low, because they don't want to disturb their neighbors, then they, they don't want anybody to <laughs> know that they are there. So the sound will be super slow, or they are in the bus, and they don't. And some of the people will use headphones, and then they have like 100% of the sound. So your sound, in any way, has to be perfect. And then third thing, the casting. Casting is super important. Uh, the thing is that, the main obstacle for web series to go to the audience, they have a bad image. Yeah, the, the, this I have to say, I mean, I'm a fan of web series, but I know that for the, the general audience, when I talk to people, people will tell me, ah, web series, yeah, I've watched one one day, and you know what, I didn't like it, it was very amateur, it was, very, it was made with uh, no money, and the thing. The thing is, the good news is that 80% of the time, these people are telling me about YouTubers, not about web series, but totally two different things. But this is a fact. This is a fact that people think that web series are things that have been made in the garden with the two brothers in the garden made, their, made an horror movie, and uh, I'm not going to watch that. Uh, and this is why, this is why, actually, the market wants to change the name. We're going back to the beginning. Yeah? I told you, web series now, they have a lot of names because, because the people who want to sell web series to the audience, they don't want to use the term web series right now. Because for people, web series is something very cheap, a little bit cheaty, I don't understand everything, and you know what, in the end, it's not funny. So. Uh, Canal Plus in France had the, the idea, they were the first to have the idea to call this Série Digital, Digital Series. Okay? The thing is, with Digital Series, it, it that many people uh, mistake them with the series from Netflix. I, I still hear some people telling me, oh yeah, web series I know, like Orange is the New Black or House of Cards. And I say, what? Yeah, it's a series on the web. <laughs> you can see it on the web. No, no, House of Cards and Orange is the New Black are not web series. They will never be web series. J they are just TV series that happen to be shown on the web. But, you know, Netflix is selling this uh, series to traditional channel without any problem. I mean, it's just TV series, but they happen to be on the web. They are not web series. So, this is the thing. Now the professional talk about short form, short form, this is huge, it's short form, okay. But the thing is that for the audience, short form doesn't mean anything. For the pro, for the professional, of course, it means something. You say short form, oh yeah, I like that, short form, I, I, I see this. The audience doesn't get it. So for me, web series is still the best uh, uh, name of that. But be careful that anything that you will produce, you need to have this three production values to get into the market. This is super important. I am consulting for distribution companies. I am consulting for uh, broadcasters. And I know that they have an attention span of 30 seconds, maybe a minute. When I'm lucky, they have a minute. 
they look 20 seconds of the, of the show. If they see good acting, good picture, good, uh, uh, good sound, they tell me, I want that, Joel. And sometimes I tell them, no, no, wait a minute. I'm not sure it's for you because, you know, uh, it's, it's not so what, 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 what you're looking for. But they tell me, no, I want that. Or at least I want to meet these people to do something else because the production values are there. This is super important. Now, in terms of strategies, different, different strategies. Of course, you can always say, I'm going to produce my web series and then show it to the different people who will buy it. This is, this is a deal. The thing is that you will make this with no money. And it's going to be hard for you to get the production values, good actors, good sound, good picture, because you don't have the money. But you can do it. A lot of people are doing it. You've seen Ren, you've seen, you've seen there. I mean, done without any money, but it's a lot of effort to do it. The thing is, you can also imagine, this is starting to, to, to work, and this is the way it works right now, a kind of a traditional TV thing, but for the web. Which means that you don't have to produce the entire web series. Maybe you will produce one, two, or three episodes that you will show to people. And because they are convinced with the three episodes, they will say, okay, let's make the six other, or the six next, or the five next episodes. I'm going to give you the money for that. It can work also. But anyway, anything you choose to, to do when you are looking for funding, and you can have funding from private uh, companies uh, who would buy your concept, you need picture. You need picture. Nobody reads a script anymore. Nobody reads a script anymore. Really. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for you. I can imagine all of you posting your, your script <laughs> to, to, to Metro Goldwyn Mayer thinking they will answer me. They will never answer you because they won't even open the letter. Or they will open the letter. Oh, it's a script. Oh, I hate that. The studios right now are using armies of people, but really armies of people, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to watch the web. Watch the web. Because this is what they want. They want the pictures, they want to know. So watch the web for, this guy is funny. This guy had a good idea. This one is a super director. His script are shitty, but wow, he's doing a super good job in producing these things. This is what they want to see. And everybody I'm talking about, they just have the same answer. When I say, hey, I, I, send me the link. Send me the link. If I tell them, yeah, they have a script, three scripts, up here, you can read three scripts. Oh, Joel, come on. Come on, Joel. I, I have no time for that. I'm not going to read three scripts. Show me 20 seconds. Show me a trailer. Show me a teaser. So even if you don't have any money, even if you think that maybe getting into the production of your six, nine episodes of web series is too much, and it can be too much, I can understand, focus on directing a 20-second teaser or trailer, but super good. Super good trailer or teaser. And from that, you can go and try to find some uh, private uh, financing. But let's imagine that you did your web series. Finally, you did it with your friends, blah, blah, blah. You financed it, and it's good. Good sound, good picture, good acting. Wow, your web series is there. So, what will the market uh, offer you? How can you make money with this uh, series that you got? There are a lot of different business models for web series uh, right now. So, of course, I talked about this application. These people from the application, they will more likely buy your web series. So, they will buy your web series, for example, for the worldwide uh, uh, rights, and for two years. So you sell them your web series, they get it for two years, and they can show it all over the world. Simple deal, you made your money, it's a one shot, and, uh, and that's it. Some channel can propose you revenue sharing. Revenue sharing is that they will put it on their channel, they will have publicity on that, and they will offer you 50 to 70 percent of the revenue. So each time someone is watching an episode, there is a publicity, and you get a, a, a part of the money. They make the promotion, they make it. 
then you could tell me, hey, Joel, it sounds a lot like the YouTube uh, model, the famous YouTube model, which, is, which was the basic business model for a uh, web series till recently. Simple, I put my web series on YouTube, people watch it, and the more people watching, the more money I get. It doesn't work. It does not work. It does not work. Am I clear enough there? It does not work. Do not go on YouTube to make money with your web series. If you are a YouTuber, you can make money on YouTube. With, uh, the YouTubers can. But YouTubers is a different thing. YouTubers are people posting every day of every, or every week on a single subject with a single format and addressing a special topic or a special genre. It's totally different. With your web series, you have six episodes or eight episodes or maybe 10 episodes, and that's it. This is all you can cover. You can cover 10 weeks, and that's it. After 10 weeks, you don't have other episodes. So it's a different thing. On YouTube, when I made my study, Anatomy of Web Series, I found out that only 0.001% of the web series made real money on YouTube, which means, in fact, two web series that had, of course, big actor, uh, uh, big names on the, uh, 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 on the screen, and then they could make money. About that, this could be also a strategy for you, giving the, 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 the guest. A lot of web series, they like to have guests. It's a famous actor that you have in your web series. And you know what? Do not hesitate. The actors, they are ready to work for you and for free. Uh, uh, in, um, in Germany, there is a very famous series called Mission Backuppers. It's a sci-fi series. It's like uh, Battlestar Galactica. There's, wow, spaceships everywhere and special effects. It has been made by 30 people around the world who never met. 30 people uh, uh, around, around the world just connecting and they say, okay, you make the spaceship, I'm gonna make the animation of this, no, no, no. Watch it, it's called Mission Backuppers, it's very nice. And this guy, the director had an idea, he said, I'd like to have the guy who made, the, uh, who was the, the, the original Darth Vader, uh, David Prose, and uh, he just phoned the guy. He phoned the guy and the guy said, you know what, I'm 75, I don't even know what you're talking about, but sounds fun, let's do it. But, and he said, I have no money for you. And he said, you know what? I've never been to Berlin. So you pay me the hotel and you owe me one day of touring Berlin with you. And that's it, and I'm gonna play. So the guy has Darth Vader in his web series. And I have tons of examples like that of people who just talk to these actors and say, could you come on Wednesday and uh, make something for me? And, th and they all said yes, without asking for any money. So you can do it. But the thing is, do not imagine that because you have this big name, you will have big views. No, it doesn't work like that. Same thing, we are on the web. And you know what, on the web, if you have this actor, famous actor, if he's tweeting or using his Facebook account saying, hey, I'm playing in this web series, you should watch that, then we will have a million of people. The thing is that usually they don't do it. Usually they don't go on Twitter to say, yeah, I did that, I did that, I did that, and so it doesn't work. So be careful with, uh, with the thing of putting a lot of guests and telling me, uh, hey, Joel, what's that? Because uh, I have uh, this and this and this, they are super famous, doesn't uh, uh, really uh, work. I have talked a lot, no? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> also, yeah, a lot. <laughs> so, do you have questions? Yeah, you have questions. Allora, innanzitutto, grazie, prima delle domande. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, very good, very interesting. E se ci sono delle domande, alzatemi la mano e vi devo dare il microfono, se no non verrete registrati. Ok, faccio la valletta, il sogno della mia vita. What about Asia? Oh yes, Asia, I haven't speak about Asia. Very interesting, thank you for that. Asia, the king of Asia is Korea. In Korea, they don't call it web series, they call it uh, dramas, K-dramas, uh, uh, web drama. 
Uh, the format is slightly uh, uh, longer. You have episodes from 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Um, usually, they, they, they really are drama. Uh, uh, no comedy, but there are a, a few comedies, but uh, uh, really drama. Um, with, uh, so they use famous artists in their, in their web series, like uh, famous singers, famous actors that are uh, going. It's part of their promotion to do a, a, a web series. And usually, I mean, I'm, and really, 80% of the, of the K-drama are like love stories, love dramas. Uh, you have the, 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 the famous story of the rich guy in love with the poor girl, or the rich girl in love with the poor guy. But uh, it's, it's very interesting. The thing with Asia. Um, Asia is really a puzzle of different culture. Really, very different uh, uh, culture. The biggest market, so Korea is there. You see uh, some web series in Indonesia, a, a bit amateur, but a, a, a bit young, but I, I can see some now. Uh, India, India is starting and they will be big uh, soon for sure. But the thing with uh, Asia is about the market. There is a huge market there that everybody wants to go. It's China, China. Two billion or one billion, I don't know, people, they are connected, they love uh, web series, they know. So there, the market is big and everybody wants to get into this market, especially in Asia. Problem is that China is like closed. The, the, the censorship on the web is really big and you cannot tell everything on your stories, nah, 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 so nobody can enter the market right now. They even have their own YouTube. I mean, YouTube is not even existing in China. They have their own. It's Yuku. Uh, you, Yuku? Yuku. Okay. And uh, so what is happening, actually, is that a lot of people in China are, 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 ma are making piracy of web series. So some clever hackers, they, they, they set up this program that allows you to get away with the, with the Chinese uh, uh, censorship and they have servers outside where they, where, they, where they have web series and that people are watching web series on this, on this servers from China. So we know that the market is big but everything is oriented with that. Uh, and it's like, it's like there is this pot of gold that they know, nobody can really access, but everybody is waiting for that. For Korea, it's very important to be able to enter the Chinese market one day, but the thing is that uh, for political reasons, they cannot. They are really expelled from, the, from, from this market right now. Uh, Japan, nothing is happening in Japan. Japan is a very serious country where the, the, a few creators of web series, they tell me the problem is with the society when they say that they made a web series uh, with no money, it's like, well, people are like, wow, it's like, wow, it's, it's not considerate. It's really, it's really considered like, like something bad, uh, uh, limit something bad to, to, to make web series in, in, in Japan. Scusate, però io non avevo visto l'orologio, sorry, the time, eh, perché siamo già oltre di mezz'ora, teniamo le domande per oggi pomeriggio, oggi pomeriggio alle tre e mezza, aula tre, quinto piano, edificio 15, non mi ricordo più niente, ne, nessun altro numero, eh, così abbiamo la possibilità di eh, magari immagazzinare i dati di stamattina e porgli le domande. Eh, Thank you again. Yeah. Un ringraziamento ancora. Oh, just one word. Un... Just one ah, word. Yes, yes. Because we were talking about Asia. I don't have time to talk to you about Australia, but Australia, I forgot, okay, is it's very easy. important. Super important. Australia is financing web series. They make crazy good web series in Australia. And Australia is also the rising country with the market Argentina. Market. And the market yeah. is big. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.